Hello guys and welcome to another Media Boost tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be using Adobe Flash and we're going to be creating fade in and fade out text. So these are quite useful for banners or advertising or anything really cool like that that you want to put in your website. So I'm going to go into Axiom Script 3. Just click that. And I'm going to just leave my canvas how it is. And I will put a tutorial up how to use all the different tools in Flash. But right now, I'm just going to show you guys how to create uh, this fade in and fade out text. So I'm going to put my background to black. Like that. And we're going to put in some text. So I don't know. Put text like that. I'm gonna have to make this bigger. There we go. There's our text. Cool. Right. So here's our text, and we need to right click our text layer and go to convert to symbol make sure it's a movie clip I'm just going to name it text like that and now because we named it a movie clip we can double click it and go inside it so now we're going to click it again and up here isn't there, we're going to have to go convert to symbol again and I'm just going to click OK so now that should be a movie clip and now we can see this has changed so now it's on movie clip, that's good and we are going to create at number 5, we're going to put insert keyframe and on number 10, I'm going to put insert keyframe so now we're going to select up to there Hold down shift, select, right click, create classic tween if you're on CS5 or CS4. If not and you're still in CS3, I think it's create, create, just create a tween. I think it's create motion tween. Shape tween. I can't remember now. But create the tween and do that again for your next frame so now we're going to click in the start click on your text layer make sure it's on movie clip and go down to style alpha so now the alpha is set to zero so that means it's invisible that's good we go to the frame 5 it fades in so I'm just going to go into frame 5 and set this back to alpha so it's all the same. I'm going to put the alpha up to 100. And go back to number 10, frame 10, click on it again, alpha 0. And now I'm going to put this as, I want it as 60 frames per second so it's nice and smooth. And that also means it goes flipping fast. So I worked out we're going to want to move frame 10 up to frame 200. There it is. And frame 5 up to 100. There. So now we watch it by pressing enter. See it fades in. And it fades out. Press enter again, fades in, and fades out. And now, if you wanted to put in another text, you're going to have to have, add another layer, by like that, and then start from frame 200 to go to 3 and 300, then frame 400. So, that's how you do that. And if you want to do things like drop shadow or indenting stuff, 
you have to click on here and go on to your filters property add a new layer and drop shadow now I'm going to do inner shadow because it looks cool I'll go black, I'm going to leave it how it is quality is high and then if we come in we can see look it's dropped the shadow in and then it, it fades into normal I'll click this again edit it, you add a new drop shadow you take that drop shadow down and we put this back to how it was on the other one inner shadow you can now see it does that best thing to do though is to do that first so that's how you do that so guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on creating fading and fade out text. And please rate and subscribe because it really helps. Thanks. Bye.